Yes. What about the people who forget their number, or their cards are lost or stolen? We've made provisions for that. By using this laser imprinter, we can painlessly and permanently affix the person's number to the back of his hand or his forehead if he so desires. The numbers would be easily read by this new ultraviolet scanning equipment. For the purposes of demonstration, I've had such a number imprinted on myself. Once this number is imprinted, it cannot be lost nor can it be changed. Now, are there any questions? What about the individuals who refuse to have this number implantation? We expect some minor resistance, especially from highly motivated religious groups. But eventually, hunger will cause even the most zealous to conform to our program. Uh, Mr. Chairman, I am concerned about the situation in the Middle East. We've given Russia and Israel a great deal of consideration. Russia is, as you probably already know, considering an invasion of Israel in order to obtain a Mediterranean seaport. Well, our policy is to support such a move and supply Israel with the necessary nuclear weapons to fend off such an attack. The mental conditioning of the Israelis is he has nothing to lose and subsequently will attack the Russians before they can get their planes off the ground. Gentlemen, I believe that within a year, two at the most, our one world government will be a reality. If we continue on our present course, it is my opinion that we could present the devil himself as a world leader and the people would accept him. Thank you.